What is up, guys? Uh, we are back here, this time with a Pokemon opening. I have not done a Pokemon opening in such a long time. We are doing uh, Twilight Masquerade. I think this is the newest set. I don't know too much about Pokemon, man. I'm going to be the first one to admit it. Um, I think I, the last two generations, I haven't really played. After the last generation, I definitely didn't play because... It looked terrible, so I'm not going to be touching that for sure. So I don't know a lot of the Pokemon. I don't know a lot of this, the newer sets. But they, they are fun to open sometimes. I do actually kind of try to stay away from Pokemon because it's really hard to pull good stuff. I mean, the cart, the artworks are really nice, but there's no value. Like, it's, it's really hard. You have to buy so much product just to pull something. And, and once you get that one card, too, like, it is a, a lot of money, but I just kind of wish the prices were a little bit more like Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Opening up Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed is actually kind of decent in some cases, and not so much in Pokemon. Anyways, so, I'm going in blind, guys. I'm, I don't really know what's, um, what we got here. I guess Ty Tyranitar is included in here. That's awesome. Probopass. Probopass grew on me. Actually, from Legends Arceus, because that, that was one of my, my mains. Anyway, so the contents should not have changed. Uh, we get, like, counters or tokens or whatever the hell they're called. Some dice um, in here. What, what are these called, actually? I think they're just called counters, right? But, uh, like, a damage counter or a status counter. Uh, and then I think it's, like, nine packs or so. That's cool. And some... Some sleeves and dividers. Really, the the only reason I buy these ETBs is because of the dividers, man. Because I actually use these quite a bit, and they look pretty nice in some cases. No idea who look, who this guy is either. You guys got to let me know in the comments. It, okay, so I guess it is. It's this guy. Um, Teal mask, ogre, prawn or ogre pawn. I don't know what's going on, in Pokemon land, man. All right, so let's go. Uh, hopefully, we pull something cool. You know, not necessarily value, because again, it's going to be hard, but if something that looks cool, one of my favorite Pokemon would be nice to pull, like uh, Probopass, as I mentioned, Swanna, uh, Bella, Belly Bolt, Snorlax, the man is in here, Legacy Energy, I mean, it looks shiny as all hell, no idea if this is <laughs> value, I am going in blind, guys, but I don't think this is that valuable, because um, usually... These cards don't have, don't maintain value. It's the the alt arts that really drive these sets. And there you guys go, code card. Hopefully you guys pull something good in the um, in the online game because I for sure stopped playing that. I started and then I got bored of it. Uh, that's basically how it goes, right? Honestly, Kadabra, Halucha. Oh, that's pretty dope. Tank Growth is also one of my favorites, so maybe that's. There's an alt arts in here. Uh, Sunflora, Enhanced Hammer, uh, Glalie, hell yeah. Emolga, Reverse Hollow, a Con Conchalador, I think this is Generation 5, uh, Reverse Hollow, and then a Sinistasha. Sinistasha? What the hell is this, dude? Like, I, I don't even know, man. Like, and people like to point out, right? Because they're like, oh, these, uh, these old school Pokemon guys, they they make fun of Garbodor and all that stuff, but don't make fun of, of Much or Voltorb, which are equally as ridiculous. But like, what the hell even is that? Is that is that just like a, a dish? I don't even know what's going on there, man. Applin, <laughs> that's there's another weird Pokemon there. Uh, Litwick, Pucciana, uh, Cl Clefable, Clefable. I don't even know how to pronounce that guy's name, to be honest. Palfin, okay. Uh, an Eevee. There is a, an Eevee illustration art that I kind of want to pull in here. I do remember that one, because I was looking at, at TCG Player one day, and I remember that uh, there, there was one. It's like a... I think they're called illustration rares, but it's basically a whole bunch of Eevees. And, I, I mean, I, I'm assuming it's this set. It was one of the newer sets, Um so if, if it is in this set, that's kind of disappointing, to be honest. Because I do want it, and I don't want to pay for it. Uh, Hisuian Hisuni Growlithe Tatsuguri. What is this, dude? Like, uh, Jamming Tower, Sun Kern, Reverse Hollow, and then a Luminous Energy. I mean, we're pulling decent stuff. That's a Gold Rare, I believe, and... Um, 
yeah, I don't know about value wise, but we are usually in ETBs. It's kind of a, a hit or miss, right? You actually get very lucky or you just get crap. You don't pull like anything at all. So uh, I'm happy with those two. I like I'm I'm more into Pokemon because of the art and that art for both. Even though it's just energy, I like it because of the border. Um, I will just go with that. So the Venipod, Chansey, nice. Uh, Drac, Loke, Poliwhirl, OG, Kilowattrell, Brute, Bonnet, Community Center, and Applin, uh, Reverse Hollow, a core fish, uh, Reverse Hollow, and then a Blood Moon, Ursaluna EX. What, what does that mean, though? Blood Moon. Is that just like an ancient... No, because they should have ancient um, paradox forms. That's what they're called in, in the games. I, I don't know what's going on there. I'm actually kind of curious. That, that might be the DLC for Generation 8 or, or are we on 9. I don't even know. Um, Blood Moon. Okay. B Polywag. Common. A Palm. That looks nice, man. The artwork is pretty, pretty dope. This one, too. D Dar Darmaka. Darumaka. I don't know. Something like that. That's Generation 5 for sure. Uh, Sand Slash, Iron Bundle, Snorlax, Reverse Hollow. Cool. A Chi, Chi Yu, Reverse Hollow. And a Teal Mask. Um, yeah, what's up with these masks? What's... I don't even know, man. Maybe I should have done this opening, but I'm going to be honest. If I don't do this, uh, like, Pokemon openings and try to dive back in, I'm never going to do it, right? Like, this is, this is me pulling the banding, guys. I have to jump back in to these Pokemon openings because, I mean, it's more variety for sure. And um, I don't have to wait for, for Yu-Gi-Oh! to release sets. Uh, or Konami, I should say. Proba Pass, Love Ball, a Caretaker Reverse Hollow, a Girder Reverse Hollow. And then, oh, that looks cool, actually. The look, the colors are pretty nice. A Heart, Hearth Flame Mask, Ogre Pond. Dude, I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. I mean, the colors look cool, but the names are really goofy. It, what is this mask? Like, wh what's going on with this mask? Is it just one Pokemon that wears different masks? Like, I, I really don't know. Grookey, Helio, Heliopetile, I think. Fenizen, Caretaker. We got Lucian, Lucius over there. Uh, Dermonitan, Carmine, Heracross, Reverse Hollow, Helia. Yeah. A Larion Reverse Hollow, and then a. <laughs> I thought I thought his name was Walkie Walkie, like Walkie Talkie almost, but it's Walking Wake. Like I thought it was like Walkie Wake, Walkie Wakey or something like that. When I first saw it, Walking Wake. This is the Suicune Paradox form, which um, yeah they again they're screwing, <laughs> they're screwing, they screwed up the dogs in my opinion. Uh, they gave uh, Raikou, Raikou, a, a huge neck for no reason. Uh, Dreepy, Scoliaped, noise. A Bella Bolt, accompanying flute. Poochiana, reverse hollow, cool. A Sea King, reverse hollow. And then a Green Greninja EX, that is cool. That is cool. I did not know Greninja was in the set, actually. Now, as far as value, guys, I'm not sure. But these are the better pulls, in my opinion. Just because the other ones are just reverse hollows or just basic rares. Uh, Legacy Energy, Luminous Energy, uh, Blood, Moon, Ursaluna EX. Probably not that expensive. Usually these EX cards that aren't textured, like this one, not that valuable. And even then, the textured ones... Are not that valuable. It just depends on which ones uh, you get. Although you know, usually the altars do better. But um, yeah, we got Ogre Pond, EX, and then Greninja. Greninja's a, a Chad for sure. That is the video, guys. Expect more of these. Maybe not this set. I haven't decided. Maybe this set. Honestly, if there's Greninja, I might try to pull some more. Some. Um, it has to be an altar. Like it's Greninja, right? So I'm gonna try to pull Greninja altars. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.